Hey guys, today we'll be making an adorable heart-shaped scrunch ruffle deco mesh wreath. What you will need, I have a heart-shaped wreath ring. This was purchased at Dollar Tree. And you could essentially make this entire wreath with items purchased at Dollar Tree. The only thing that I'm using that's not purchased from Dollar Tree is my deco mesh. But again, you can purchase it at Dollar Tree. Uh, the deco mesh, I have a roll of red and a roll of white. They're five and a half inches and there's 30 feet on each roll. I also have Chanel stems and scissors. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is cut your red and white deco mesh into eight inch long pieces. So I have them all cut and I have already separated them into piles of four. So I have white, red, white, red, and then I have red, white, red, white. So I'm going to have four pieces of mesh in each bundle. Now, if you want to use more colors, you can definitely do that. I've used four different colors before, so it's completely up to you. But for this specific wreath, just to make it the Valentine's theme, I decided to go with red and white. All right, so we'll set the bundles to the side for right now, and we are going to get our ring prepped. I have cut my Chanel stems in half, and I'm going to place them along the inner ring. Now, when I use the round ring, I place it along the inner two and I alternate back and forth. So this one using the heart shaped ring is gonna be a little different. But just know you have the option of using the round ring and, and alternating between the inner first and second rings. I will also link a video of how I made a wreath similar to this on the round stem. I'll link that in the description box down below. So what I'm going to do is just stick with the one middle ring. You do have the option of going all the way to the inner ring or the outer ring, but I'm trying my best to keep the heart shape. So I wanna just stick with the center. So the first stem, I'm going to twist a couple of times around the top, two of them, just like that. And then I'm going to take another stem, and I'm going to place probably four or five stems in this section. And then maybe two or three in the next section, and one or two at the bottom. I kind of want to just see how it looks. You can add more if you want to add more uh, deco mesh, or if you want less deco mesh, then you can add fewer stems. You can just play around with it and see what look you like best. But I'm going to get all of my stems placed, and then we'll finally start making our wreath. Alright, so this is what it's looking like with all of the stems in place. Again, you can play around with the number and see how many you want. Now, we're going to take our mesh. Again, I have it separated into stacks of four. Red, white, red, white. And then I have white, red, white, red. So I'm going to take my first stack, lie it flat, and just scrunch it in the middle. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch it all together. And then hold it really tight. And this is what it looks like. So cute. And I'm going to just pick my first stem and place my mesh. So I'm going to place it down in the center and then I'm just going to twist the stem around the mesh. Just like that. So I'm going to repeat the same steps again except I'm going to alternate and go with the stack that has the white on top. But I'm going to scrunch, scrunch, scrunch it all together and then place it down in the next stem. And I'm going to alternate red on top, white on top, red on top, white on top. Again, if you, if you decide to use more colors, you can alternate between all of the colors. I've done that, and that looks so cute and precious. But for this ring, I'm just going to alternate red and white, red and white. And with the stems, after I'm twisting the stems, I'm just tucking them away. Next, I'm going to separate my four pieces of mesh. So I'm going to just pull the layers apart in each bundle, just to kind of flare it up a little bit and make it look so cute and precious, just like that. So I'm going to repeat this step all the way around my ring.
So this is what the final product looks like. You can definitely have fun with it. Add some hearts or any type of embellishments you like. You can even add a cute sign in the center. Just have fun with it and make it your own.